Watching young Sheldon is like getting a sneak peek into the early days of Sheldon Cooper, the quirky genius from The Big Bang Theory. As we follow young Sheldon's adventures, we can't help but wonder about how his childhood shapes the grown-up Sheldon we know and love. From his family dynamics to his unique friendships, there are plenty of questions that keep fans curious. Here are the top five fun and intriguing questions that pop up after watching young Sheldon. 1. Billy Sparks is supposed to be mean in young Sheldon, but he isn't. Sheldon, I am so sorry I dragged you through this. It's okay. It wasn't my first pantsing and it won't be my last. In The Big Bang Theory, Sheldon often recounts memories of being bullied during his childhood, and he specifically mentions Billy Sparks as one of his tormentors. However, in Young Sheldon, Billy Sparks is portrayed more as a somewhat awkward and misunderstood kid rather than a mean-spirited bully. This discrepancy raises questions about the true nature of Sheldon's childhood interactions with Billy. Fans wonder if there's more to Billy's character development that hasn't been revealed yet, or if Sheldon's memories are perhaps colored by his perspective and experiences. 2. Why does Sheldon tell everyone he doesn't have any friends? I lost my own father. I didn't have any friends to help me through it. You do. Sheldon frequently mentions his lack of friends during his childhood in The Big Bang Theory, yet young Sheldon showed him interacting with several characters who could be considered friends or at least acquaintances. This inconsistency leads fans to question Sheldon's perception of friendship and social interactions. Is Sheldon's assertion based on his strict criteria for what constitutes a friend, or does it reflect a deeper, more complex emotional response to his social experiences growing up? 3. Why does Sheldon have bad memories of his father? My father loved football. He always made me watch it before I was allowed to do my homework. Yet In The Big Bang Theory, Sheldon often shares stories that paint his father, George Sr., in a negative light, suggesting a strained and difficult relationship. However, young Sheldon offers a more nuanced portrayal of George Sr., showing moments of care and support. This contrast makes viewers curious about the specific incidents that shaped Sheldon's negative memories. What events or behaviors led Sheldon to remember his father so unfavorably, and how did these memories influence his adult life and relationships? 4. Why does Sheldon never mention Paige? Checkmate. You lose. Red alert. Paige Swanson, a fellow child prodigy, plays a significant role in Sheldon's life in Young Sheldon, despite her impact. She is never mentioned in The Big Bang Theory. This omission piques curiosity about what happens to their relationship. Fans wonder why Paige, who is clearly an important figure during Sheldon's formative years, is absent from his later recollections. Did something significant occur between them, or did she simply drift away as they grew older? 5. Did Georgie continue to shield adult Sheldon? Give me the bucket. I'll watch for lakes while you go eat. Really? Yeah. Okay. In Young Sheldon, George Jr., or Georgie, often takes on a protective role towards his younger brother despite their differences. This raises questions about whether this dynamic continues into their adult lives. Viewers are interested in how Georgie's protective instincts evolve as both brothers age and how this relationship influences Sheldon's adult personality and his interactions with others. Does Georgie continue to play a shielding role in Sheldon's life? Or do their paths diverge significantly as they grow older? These questions reflect the intricate connections and sometimes inconsistencies between young Sheldon and the Big Bang Theory, driving fans to explore deeper into Sheldon's character development and the relationships that shape him.